Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Vacationers Lightning List with Tom, Ian, and Joe. This episode's list is our top three favorite shooter dark rides, so let's go. Before we begin, if you'd like to hear how we chose our top three favorite shooter dark rides, go listen to episode 78 of the Vacationers Theme Parks and More podcast. The link can be found in the description. Let's start the list with each of our near strikes. And for those new to the show, near strikes are our honorable mentions or our runners up. I'll begin with my near strike, and that is Justice League Battle for Metropolis. This shooter dark ride can be found at multiple Six Flags parks across the country. We have personally rode it at Six Flags Great Adventure and Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's a collaboration of Sally Dark Rides, Alter Face, Oceaneering International, and Pure Imagination Studios, and is themed to the Justice League DC comic superheroes. The ride has targets that are a combination of digital targets on large 3D screens as well as physical targets in full practical sets. There are many special effects in the ride, such as fog and fire hidden in the attraction's various scenes. All right, so this is my near strike. I personally think this should be our number three, but I was outvoted. <laughs> like I said, listen to the podcast and you'll hear how our number three became our number three. But I absolutely enjoy this ride immensely. I think it's a great addition to all Six Flags parks. Though, Joe, you don't think as much of it. I didn't like it as much. It is it is a good ride. I just, it's not in the top of my list. All right. Uh, Ian, your general thoughts. It's cool, but like the only thing that I think stands out about it is the animatronics they have. Yes. The animatronic of Joker in particular is really cool. Oh, yeah. And he's shooting that uh, yeah, like the, fog or mist or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Super that, cool. So, so fun. That's a, that's a great dark ride. I don't, Joe, you're insane. All right. That was my near strike. Joe, what is yours? My near strike is Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. The Sally Corporation dark ride was located at many Cedar Fairs parks, including Canada's Wonderland, Carolyn's, King's Dominion, and King's Island. It was previously themed to Hanna-Barbera's Scooby-Doo. Guests use mounted laser guns to fire at physical, lighted targets throughout the ride. Hitting a target enables additional animation, sounds, and special effects. It also earns each rider points that are tallied and displayed inside the vehicle. All right, yes. So, I like Boo Blasters at Boo Hill. However, it definitely wouldn't make my top three list. I will commend King's Dominion. I know uh, I've written that the most. Uh, we wrote it last year, and it, they kept up on it pretty well. So it was in uh, all working order, so I was very happy with that. Joe, why is this one of your favorites? This is, this is my nostalgia ride that I love, too. I believe it was the first shooter dark ride I was ever on, and I just enjoy it every time I go up to King's Dominion. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. It's the one that I grew up riding. Yeah, you too. Well, yeah. It used to be Scooby-Doo, but I mean, it still holds up to Scooby-Doo. It's not as much. Yeah, it's not. As, uh, yeah, I personally enjoyed Scooby-Doo more. The theme. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Boo Blaster. It's, it's it's a good generic theme. <laughs> do you know? Do you know if they still sell the 3D glasses? Do you remember that they used to do that? No. Or they? I don't. I think they started that with Boo Blasters. It was like for like an extra dollar you could buy glasses to ride the ride with. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I remember seeing a sign for it, but I've never seen anyone wear them. No, ever. I think that's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything 3D left in that ride. But yeah, very nice. Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Ian, what is your near strike? My nearest strike is Ghostwood Estates, located at Kennywood Park in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. This trackless interactive dark ride is manufactured by Halloween Productions and features animatronics, props, elaborate sets, and computer-generated animation. Guests compete with each other by shooting laser blasters at targets, which activate different props. Uh, this is my nearest strike because it's just so unique. Everything you shoot has like some sort of interaction, whether that be big or small. And there is a lot of targets There's in each room. There's a lot of targets. Yeah. yeah, a lot of targets. And for a small uh, for small regional wood, park, yeah. yeah, it's it's a great Surprising. ride. It has a pre-show. I mean, it has <laughs> it has a ton of stuff. So, yeah, it's themed well. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful ride. Joe, you personally have not ridden this one. I highly recommend to go out and ride it. Halloween Productions, you said who, what else, what other work have they done? Uh, they've worked with Universal Six Flags. They've worked with Busch Gardens. They've, oh, they also <laughs> they also created the Garfield Nightmare uh, Ride. Uh, yes, the Nightmare Ride. Uh, very nice. Yeah, okay. Very nice. It's weird. I never heard of them before. Yeah, me they either. They worked with a lot of big companies. Yeah, indeed. All right. With our near strikes out of the way, this is our top three favorite shooter dark rides. Number three, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, also known as Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, is located in the Tomorrowland area of many Disney theme parks, including Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Park, 
Shanghai Disneyland in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It's an interactive shooting dark ride designed by Walt Disney Imagineering, inspired by Disney Pixar's Toy Story franchise that combines a carnival game and a third generation Omnimover system. I like this one because it's unique because it actually has a joystick on the vehicle where you can move up to 360 degrees. So it's a two person side by side ride and there's a joystick and there's targets on either side of you. So the targets are on the left side of the track and the right side and you can move the car and decide which targets you want to actually shoot at. And yeah, that's a unique uh, feature that many of the rides don't have, these, these dark ride shooters, which is a, it's a nice change. I enjoy it a lot because it's like whenever it's really nostalgic to me from the first time we went. Yes. And like staying there really late in Tomorrowland and it's like there's no one there and just, just riding, walking just right on. Walking on. Yeah, yeah, this is a walk on. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a great, it, it's a good time. Joe, do you have anything to add? <laughs> no, I don't remember it very well. <laughs> I haven't been on it in a very long time. I'm not as big a Disney file as you uh, I see. <laughs> I see. All right. Well, that was our number three. Next, our number two of our top favorite shooter dark rides, Toy Story Midway Mania, which is located at three Disney theme parks, Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World, Disney's California Adventure Park at Disneyland Resort, and Tokyo Disney Sea at Tokyo Disney Resort. This Walt Disney Imagineering attraction, inspired by Disney Pixar's Toy Story franchise, has park guests wear 3D glasses aboard spinning vehicles that travel through virtual environments based on classic Carnival Midway games. The ride vehicles seat up to eight in four back-to-back -back pairs. So this is a screen-based shooter that has a rope that you keep pulling, and depending on what screen you're looking at, it'll shoot rings or darts or balls or whatever else that it's shooting pies in the pre-show thing but uh yeah this is a very fun ride this personally my wife and i this is our favorite ride to ride together we could ride this one over and over and over but this is a uh, classic shooter that i absolutely adore especially like the the queue is very nicely themed it is a fun ride all around yeah it's another classic disney shooter like technology they use on it's pretty unique compared to anything else i've ever ridden yeah yet again another disney ride that i, I enjoyed i had a good time on it but you know, I've only went on at the one time at uh, Hollywood Studios. All right, enough said about that one, I guess. In our final, our number one favorite shooter dark ride, Men in Black Alien Tack, located at Universal Studios Florida in Orlando, Florida. This universal creative design shooting interactive dark ride is based on the 1997 movie Men in Black and took five years to develop. The ride spans 70,000 square feet and features over 125 animatronic aliens. So our thoughts on this one, the size of this dark ride is very large. I mean, the scenes are immense and it is such a fun It's all ride. practical as well. Yeah, it's no all strings. practical and it, it doesn't hit you over the head with what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, you could easily go in there and not know what to shoot at all <laughs> because it doesn't tell you what to do. There's no targets. There's nothing indicating what you're supposed to be shooting other than aliens, obviously. <laughs> and I think the scoring mechanisms are in their eyes and their eyes glow. So that kind of helps you there, kind of points you, but there's nothing abundantly clear as to what you're supposed to be doing. In the higher aliens you shoot, the more points they're worth. So always aim high. And at the very end, of course, there's a red button that they tell you not to hit at the beginning, but at the very end, they tell you to hit in the first person in your car to hit it or in your row, I think. I'm not sure if it's car based or the whole, because there's two rows of four people. I'm not sure. I know multiple people can get it. If you hit sure. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. If you hit the same time, everyone gets like 100,000 bonus points. But the first person who gets it gets the points. But it might be per row. I'm not sure if it's per car, though. But, yeah, this this ride is a fantastic ride. And every time we're in that park, we have to do it at least a couple times. <laughs> it goes amazing with Halloween Horror Nights. Yes, yeah. Just it's it's Take a break, go inside, and just... That's awesome. Oh, yeah, and it's always a walk-on. Yeah, it's always a walk-on, yeah. too. It's Halloween Horror Nights, yeah, you can walk right into it. <laughs> we do it so many times when you go to Great Chase Gym. Yeah. I also like the part where you shoot at the other car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, can spin them out. You can, can spin them out. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's, that's cool, too. That, that's, fair. that's a lot of fun. I like the ride. I mean, not not as much as the nearing unhealthy obsession with it that you and Ian have. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is a really fun ride, and I will every time I'm in Universal, I'll be sure to stop and do it. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, highly recommend. All six of our Shooter Dark rides are very good, and we'd highly recommend uh, any of them to uh, go ahead and try for yourself. That's the list for this episode. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe, then click the bell for notifications. 
If you'd like to hear more from us, please listen to our Vacationers Theme Parks and More podcast. Links can be found in the description of this video. So, until next time, thanks for watching.